What's up, Mopar fam? It's your boy at Fred Easy. What's going on today? On this beautiful day, we'll be changing the transfer case fluid on a 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now, this process should be similar to the WK1 Jeep models from 2005 to 2010. All right, let's get it. The tools of the trade today are a 10 millimeter hex head or an Allen wrench, a ratchet, an oil hand pump, and an oil drain pan. For the fluid, we'll be using two quarts of NV245, NV247, NV249 Mopar transfer case lubricant. Sweet. Now that we got all our tools and fluid together, let's get under there. The transfer case is located underneath in the middle of the Jeep. The great thing about the Jeep is that you don't have to get on ramps or jack the Jeep up to access the transfer case. Just head under there and start working. Okay, so let's start by placing the oil pan under the transfer case drain plug. After that, let's get our 10mm hex head and ratchet to remove the transfer case drain plug. The fluid should drain out fairly quickly, so while that happens, let's go ahead and remove the fill plug that is located above it. After that, the fluid should be drained and we'll go ahead and install the drain plug back in. Ensure the drain plug is just snug tight, as the transfer case is an aluminum body, which is easier to cross thread when over tightened. I usually ratchet down until I feel some resistance, then tighten for another quart and turn, and that should be good. If you're unsure on how tight to go, you'll need a torque wrench to tighten. The listing for the WK Jeep's transfer case drain and fill plug torque specs are 15 to 25 foot pounds of torque. Now that we have the drain plug installed, let's get our oil hand pump and fill it with our new transfer case fluid. Let's keep filling the transfer case until the fluid drips consistently out of the hole. The fill hole acts as a fill line so that we know it is correctly filled when it starts dripping out. After that, quickly install the fill plug and then we are done. Time to clean up and have a beer. I change mine at the same interval as the rear and the front diff, which is about every 30,000 miles or every 48,280 kilometers. Awesome. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.